Yeah, the project was called um, uh, The Image of Hamlet, Mapping the Performative Body, and it originally started with us uh, just trying to find out how Elizabethan actors moved around, and it went on to um, go deeper into the rhythm of human interaction itself, because there's very little contextual evidence from that time, and it spurred on to that. The research goes into um, just the rhythm of, of uh, human interaction, how when people speak there's always a, a rhythmical game being played and that's something we explored in the performance that we did, just the, the idea of when rhythms clash uh, it leads to bad human interaction. Sort of like defined as like a felled into subjectivity, so each person's got a subjectivity and then when they connect it's an intersubjectivity. That's, sort of. a, that's a good conversation whereas you could be saying anything to anyone but if the, the, ryth the rhythm of a good interaction isn't there you come out of a conversation feeling as though you haven't really connected with a person and people need that kind of connection in order to feel good about themselves. So we looked at that through autism and Asperger's syndrome because where, it's a felled a, model yeah, of social awareness. There's a fundamental inability to uh, connect with other people rhythmically and that's uh, what's that's one of the theories about uh, what that disorder is all about. Yeah, there, there was practical application, there's also a lot of reading through um, a lot of neuroscientific texts that we had to claw through which is difficult for us because we're acting students we're not exactly yeah. academics and we had to read through a lot of motor theory and about the, the ideas the competing ideas behind what causes Asperger's and autism and about human development as well. We also looked at first-hand accounts so like people with Asperger's and autism that have written books and yeah. accounts of how uh, their social interaction is sort of different from people without the condition yeah. and that was really helpful when we were creating our performance. It's been a lot harder than we thought it would be. Yeah, it's been very, very difficult at times, hasn't it, to sort of yeah. get our head around things. Um, but once we've done that and found it, it's sort of like we've been able to take it and put it into our performance. Yeah. And even we're, like little and, things. And when we, yeah, little things we take into performance, it becomes more abstract and we're, we're a better handle on it. But it was just getting that kind of initial kind of foot in the door with academic stuff. Once we it was it difficult. In, yeah, but it was alright once we sort of got in the... The, the final uh, play that we did was, is kind of a starting point. It's kind of a, an amalgamation of everything that we've been doing. It's like a working program. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's, I think everyone who came kind of understood what it was trying to do. Because it wasn't necessarily comfortable to watch. Because And that, that was the entire idea, that it was, wasn't comfortable to watch because it was it was rhythms clashing and... So and it failed into subjectivity, yeah. that's what we were portraying. And, that, and that it's a work in progress and, and uh, the person, the leader of our uh, internship course, he wants to take this on further, maybe uh, for a performance at the Guild Festival. Yeah. This is just like a, a beginning of that, so it, it's a good start. To so develop more um, over the next few months, hopefully. Yeah. To be fair, I would have done it for free because yeah. Darren Tunstall, the guy we did it with, is just so knowledgeable and, and he knows exactly what he's talking about he's such an, a, like a, an expert and, he, and I would have done it for free because just us two under his tutelage like privately for months is just invaluable. I think as well he sort of gave us the ability to look at a piece of research and take it and put it into acting which is something that I've not really done before so I think it's sort of given us yeah, like a new really, skill. It's really, I think it's, it's thinking about it now it's quite strange that we took a bit of neuroscientific yeah. text and we turned it into this and abstracted it that much and I think that's very useful indeed. Yeah and it will come in handy in the future yeah. and create new work. Definitely 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 do it. Yeah, so it's very very <laughs> yeah. worthwhile like really. You get paid and you, you have the chance to work with an expert in your field which is going to put you ahead. Yeah it sort of really gives you a head start yeah. and for us it sort of kept us going through the summer like our acting didn't go flat because yeah. we were doing it through the summer yeah keeps you active as well yeah keeps you thinking <laughs> <laughs>